what is going on beautiful people today we're going to be talking about why it gets worse when you go back into a toxic narcissistic relationship if you're new here my name is lee hammock i'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist and welcome to another episode of the narcissist Company. <laughs> welcome back folks yes 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 so i love it. i just love the intro the intro music y'all i hope y'all do so why does it get worse when you go back into a toxic narcissistic relationship y'all this is one of the main questions that i get this, and this is me being realistic y'all know i keep it hot and ready like a little season pizza this is one of the main questions i get and for good reason a lot of people want to know just like lee why can't they just treat me better why do they have to act like this when all i'm trying to do is love them when all i try to do is take them back why 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 does it get worse so i'm going to tell you you're going to get directly from the uh, horse's mouth right here so to speak on why it gets worse but before we hop deep into the episode y'all make sure you check out my support groups and my courses right now scroll across the bottom of the screen courses.mentalhealthness.net i have a, a growing support group a growing community of people who are willing to help each other and i'm part of it y'all know I'm, I'm in there every single day um chatting with people helping people we have weekly zoom meetings and everything like that so check it out right here y'all um but yes i tell this to people all the time that when you go back to a narcissist, they absolutely think that you are okay with the behaviors. They think that you are fine with how they're treating you or how they've treated you previously. They think that you are signing up for more toxic, abusive behaviors. And a lot of times, being be realistic, because you know, as a survivor, as a thriver or whatnot, you know that narcissistic people um, try to minimize everything that they've done right they try to minimize everything that they've done and everything that they put you through right they try to minimize it to make it seem like it, things are not as bad as they seem they try to make, oh you, this is not abuse i didn't i never hit you da, 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 da. they try to minimize everything that they, they put you through everything that you're going through right so when you come to them and say hey you've been abusive to me i'm breaking up with you i'm leaving you they are going to try to minimize it right so imagine you break up with them for being abusive, being toxic, whatever you, whatever reason you have to break up with them, right? Imagine you break up with them and then you are the one that reaches out to them. Hey, I miss you. I'm sorry. Things ended the way that they did. Rabble, 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 whatever they, whatever you say to them, right? You take them back. You break, you, like, you break no contact and you are the one that reaches out to them. Why in their minds, it just makes everything that they thought originally and they said originally to them it validates them to them it makes it true to them when they try to minimize your abuse when they try to minimize the stuff that they put you through now it makes it okay to them it's like damn you reached out to me so it's okay i knew that i was right i knew that you were overreacting i knew that you were doing this i knew that you were doing that yeah i might have cheated on you but i told you it was your fault that i did so this is you acknowledging that it's your fault why would they change their behaviors when they think you accept it? I'm not saying you do, but if you look at it from the perspective of a narcissist, you, if you put on your little narcissistic goggles, um, if you put on like, like little narc, the little narc glasses, if you put on your narc glasses, right? This is how they look. If you put on your narc glasses, you see it upside down. You see the world differently, right? You see the world differently <laughs> because this is how they see the world. They see the world through their own skewed perspective, upside down right from wrong right is wrong wrong is right you see what i'm saying so they're going to think that you are okay with the behaviors because you reached out to me you took me back even so i feel like and this is gonna sound weird um i feel like to a lot of narcissists right if you reach out to me you're co-signing what i did to you you see what i'm saying that's the mindset of a lot of narcissists but it can also be true that if even if I reach out to you and you and I convince you to take me back based on whatever, it still makes sense to me that you are accepting responsibility for what happened. To me, it makes sense to me that you are accepting responsibility. You're accepting your role in whatever happened here. And I'm not saying that you're OK with it, y'all. But if you take to take a step back, that's why you're here. That's why you're watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're doing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the support groups and stuff. Like if you take, yeah, you're watching me, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it to you raw. 
the perspective of a narcissist. If you want to know how narcissists thinks, this is how they think. This is how we think. Lee, why you keep saying Dave? You, you see what I'm saying? This is how we think. We think that you're okay with the behaviors because you took us back. It's just like, okay, cool. Now, wow. I knew I was right. And so just think, think about this right here, y'all. A lot of people ask me the question, do narcissists ever feel sorry or feel bad for what they've done to you? Do they ever re regret what they've put you through? Do they ever, do they ever think uh, negatively about you? Da, 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 da. You know, they're always asking these type of questions, right? So if they do feel bad and they're just stewing in it, they're stewing in the guilt, they're stewing in the shame or whatever, right? And then you reach out to them and you say, hey, I want you back. They're no longer stewing. The regret or remorse or guilt that they felt. Paxix, look, the, the guilt, the guilt that they have had, had, they might have had, puts on his book bag and leaves. Bye. Alone, I'm no longer, I no longer feel guilty now. What, what, what's that? Uh that uh the old thing, old trick. Bye. I'm going downstairs now. <laughs> my knees hurt. Yeah, my knees hurt. Hold on, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, yeah. Bye. And now I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds silly, but that is the mindset of a lot of narcissistic people. They pack their, their guilt, remorse, put it into their book bag and throw it. Sometimes they kick it downstairs. You know, that's the mentality of a lot of narcissists, y'all. And it's, again, I'm not trying to justify their behaviors by any in any way, shape or form. This is not y'all know that's not my goal here. I'm just telling you, this is how they think. So if you are wanted wanted to not deal with this type of person anymore, then you have to be okay with. You have to get to the point we are strong enough to say no, if they try to come back. No, if you have the if you have that want to reach out to them, if you feel like I need to text them right now, yeah, no, don't do it. You have to empower yourself, y'all, because if you don't. You'll just give in to them. And guess what happens if you give in to them? Guess, guess what happens when you give in to a narcissist? They feel like they won. If you give in to a narcissist, they absolutely 100% feel like they've won. Do you want them to feel like they won? Lee, I don't want them to feel like they won anything. But guess what? This is how like, narcissists, if narcissists think, think in terms of wins and losses, they think that they, 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 they just got a big victory because of you, because y'all got back together. Because y'all got back together. So you you must be okay with the behavior. So I can, so in my mind, because you're originally okay with the behavior, I can do it again, right? I can do the same thing again and get forgiven for it. But now I'm bored of doing the same thing again over and over again. So what can I do new? Is there anything new that I can do to push the limits of what I can get away with? That's where their mind goes. Is there anything new that I can do to push the limits and get away with the things that I've tried to get away with, the things that I want to get away with. Is there anything new that I can do? They get bored, y'all. They suffer from chronic boredom, so they try to push the limits of what they can get away with. And guess what happens? So many people let them get away with more and more stuff. And this is not me trying to be victim blaming. Like, this victim blaming. No, no, no. I'm just telling you, this is the mindset of a narcissist. It is. It's the direct mindset. It's the direct thinking. They think that you are okay with it because if you're not, why would you reach out to me? If you're not, why would you take me back? Well, Lee, I told them directly that I wasn't okay with it. It doesn't matter what you say to them directly. It's how they interpret it. It doesn't matter what you say to them. Their interpretation of it is what matters to them, right? I don't care if you say, well, Lee, I'll take you back if you change. Well, you took me back without changing. So why the hell would I change? You said this. You took. You said, oh, "I'll take you back without without you changing." You took me back before I made any changes. So why would I change? I'm good enough to take back. Why would I put any, any work in? I might I might fake like I'm putting the work in to get you to keep to get you to uh, stay in my life. I might fake it. You know, kind of fake fake it till you make it. I might do that. But there's very rarely any narcissistic people that sit there, sit right there. And if you take them back, they're like going to follow through and make any type of changes. Why would they? Lee, that's me, though. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to be realistic and show y'all the mindset of a narcissist. You have to stop taking them back. And no, I'm not trying to make it seem like it's super easy, right? I'm not trying to make it seem like it's an easy task to do because I understand that it's not an easy task, right? I understand that it's not easy. I understand that it's not like it's not simple. 
I'm just telling you, you have to get started in doing it because if you don't do it, if you don't do it now, you'll regret it later. It can be as simple as that. If you do not do it now, if you're not willing to put the work in right now, if you're not willing to walk, to go through the pain of leaving this person and getting and working on yourself, then you're going to pay for it later. Relationships with narcissists, y'all, have a cost associated with them. And normally the cost is going to be your friendships. It's going to be your relationship. It's going to be your lifestyle. It's going to be your hopes and dreams. It's going to be your education. You're going to give up so much to get, to stay in this relationship. You are. You're going to give up so much to stay in this type of relationship or to take this person back into your life. Because guess what? When you take them back, especially out, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add this, 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 is, this is an extra layer right here. This is like, if you get, go to Domino's, no, is it Domino's? They might be Pizza Hut. No, it's Domino's. Stuff crust. Stuff, Dom, I think Pizza Hut has stuff crust cheese, stuff crust pizza too. Well, I don't think Domino's does. I think it's Pizza Hut. Well, stuff crust. This is the this, this is the cheese and the crust right here, right? For narcissistic people. They think that you, if you've exposed me to other to, if you expose me to everybody, if you made me look bad in front of your friends and family. And now you're taking me back. You just empower me even more because now you're going to be isolating yourself away from people because now you're embarrassed because you took me back. You're embarrassed because you took me back. So now it makes it even more okay. Now I'm just like, okay, you you are you are so okay with the behaviors before that you cut your mom off. You stop talking to your mama. You stop talking to your dad. You cut your brother and sister off. You stop talking to your best friend. You quit your job. You did all of this and you're not okay with my behaviors. Get the hell out of here. That's the mindset of a narcissist right there. You cut all these people off, but you're not okay with my behaviors. What, is, what sense does that make, y'all? I know it sounds harsh, but that's the mindset of a narcissist. You cut all these damn people off. And you expect me to think that you're not okay with my behaviors. Come on now, y'all. Come on. You gotta come through. You expect me to believe that you could air all these people off, but you're not okay with my behaviors. You expect me to believe that you cut your whole friend group off. You don't talk to your friends anymore. You, the only friend you have now in this world is me. And you're not okay with my behaviors. You expect me to believe that. That's the mindset of a narcissist, y'all. This is why it keeps getting worse. Because now, I'm telling you, this is the mindset. They feel like you're enabling their behavior. They feel like you are absolutely enabling the behavior further. And because you keep coming back to me, this is the this is what you're going. This is what you're signing up for. They think that you're an active participant in your abuse. But Lee, I'm not. I'm just telling you what narcissists think, y'all. And this is just not one. This is a lot of narcissists. But anyway, y'all, I'm super grateful that y'all tuned in today. Again, check out joining the mental healers. I'm working on some new courses and things like that. So check that out here coming pretty soon, y'all. I'm extremely grateful for you um anyways y'all like subscribe subscribe to this channel if you haven't y'all and as always y'all mental illness is out peace thank you so much for making it to the end of my video i am extremely grateful for you have no idea if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel helps reach more people and click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist there's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through thank you so much again i will see